Hey all and welcome back. This is my review of the desktop version of ArtRage Vitae. This is a new update, I think like an increment, a full number update of uh, ArtRage on the desktop. So I got this app from the Windows Store. This is a big deal. We'll talk about that in this review. Um, it's also available in the Mac Store, of course. Um, but check this out. Look at the painting. It's fast and fluid and smooth and awesome, just like you always expect, especially that wonderful oil painting in ArtRage on desktop. Um, Let's get into this review. Let's talk about the App Store availability. Let's talk about what the new features are and let's talk about what this means for us today and down the road. Uh, one of the first things I wanna show you is the Canvas settings. If you go into the Advanced tab, you can click on um, tiling top and bottom, tiling left and right. This basically allows you to make seamless textures. We'll talk about what that means, but I like using it for brush creation and game design stuff. Also look at this, this is um, the Paint Mix Portal. This is like, a custom color profile. So it allows you to change what happens when colors mix. Have you ever been painting an art range and two colors mixed together and you're like, I don't like that. I, I think it should look a little more like, you know, whatever, a little blue or a little brown or a little green or whatever. Well, you can now go in just clicking in the bottom right hand corner and change that profile and you can do whatever you want with what happens when colors mix. Oh my gosh. I just wanted to show you what just happened there. This is a huge feature. Um, I just made the biggest canvas I've ever made in ArtRage. It's 32,500 pixels by 32,500 pixels at 300 pixels per inch, which makes for a high quality printable surface that's well over 100 inches by 100 inches. And I can use 800% scaled brushes to paint on that amazingly big surface. And that's what you saw me doing back there with zooming in and out and look, looking at how big this is. It's awesome. Um, why this matters so much is because um, for a lot of client work or custom work or big prints that people want, it's tough when you're you're painting and you have kind of like a limitation. You were in the past limited by the size of your brush. You were also limited by the size of your canvas. But now those two limitations have been removed. And you know what that would leave is is the, f the final sort of like limitation would be performance, right? Like you make it bigger, but you don't want to use it if it's laggy. So Happily, the, uh, and what I believe is kind of also one of the bigger features of this new uh, update is that the app works super fast. You know, like it, it saves faster, it opens faster, you have auto saving and you can set the interval for that. You have, um, you have bigger brushes that work faster and custom brushes work a little better and everything just works faster and better, et cetera, right? So this is really, really cool. Um, and this is similar to what the company did with the mobile version. When you saw the recent Vitae update for the mobile version, it meant that you had bigger canvases. It, mean, it meant you had bigger brushes. And, and you know, made me wonder, when is that gonna come to the desktop version? Because the desktop version is more full featured. It's the, like the super size me, full meal deal, awesome, best version of ArtRage. But, you know, the, you saw the mobile version getting some updates that, you know, we're like, oh, when's that going to come for the big one? So it's out, it's big, it's awesome, and it's fast. And I think that between that speed and performance update and, and then the App Store integration, we got something interesting here. And I think it's setting the stage for some cool stuff to happen in the future as well as for today. So what this means for you today is, is if you're familiar with ArtRage like, like, you know, like I am and... Um, Every time there's a little update, we get that little kind of splash screen that says, do you want to check for updates? I always say no. And the reason why is because it's annoying to have to go in and literally go log into the member area, download the whole new version of ArtRage, delete all the old old like stuff off your computer, and then install the new one. You know, it's just like, I don't like doing that. It's I, I'm just like, I don't care. Uh, if, if the app's not crashing, I'll deal with whatever updates I'm missing out on because I don't like having to update by hand in that way. Um, I just like when everything updates by itself. And that's a big piece of this happening where uh, our age is now available in the app stores from um, Apple and from Microsoft because now it'll update on its own just like every other app you have from Apple and Microsoft. So very, very cool. You don't have to go through that hand process of downloading everything again. And the combination between that kind of seamless updates thing um, and the fact that you can work bigger, faster, and at kind of like higher performance um, means that, that they did a lot of work under the hood. This feels to me like 
more of like an engineering update. Uh, they didn't come out with a ton of new brush features or a ton of new, um, you know, like, oh, hey, we, we reinvented watercolors or we added all this stuff to the oil painting. Well, they didn't do that. They, this seems like it's more about making what they had work better, be available on new platforms, work bigger, work faster, bring it up to speed with some of kind of like standard features around auto saving and and um, canvas tiling and the way that that integrates for a lot of professional stuff. Thinking about how often I make custom brushes and now that I can do that in ArtRage is huge because I like to make custom brushes not just for ArtRage but for Photoshop and I would love to have always been able to use ArtRage to make the textural like patterns or textures that I use for the the brush texture when the, you know when you, you have like the, the brush stamp and then you have the texture and so I like to kind of make that impasto texture in ArtRage for my other apps brushes as well and now I can do that with the seamless texturing feature that's pretty awesome um I also think the color the the color picker profile thing is awesome there's like little features in there too that like when you're using your color picker you can set it to uh, always show you the complementary color or the split complement or the the triad color or analogous color so it can show you on the color picker you can enable and disable the um, option of having like this always active complementary color selection it's pretty cool so little things like that there's a lot of little quality of life things there's a lot of performance things a ton of performance things um, it's been a really stable release, no crashes, no problems, haven't had to test out the autosave. Um, and then there's even this other thing, which it kind of points again to kind of those under the hood engineering things going on, um, is there's this co-op painting, which I haven't touched it, but I'm eager to try it, especially with my son. Um, the fact that we could paint um, him on his tablet and me on the desktop, that we could paint a painting together um, over our home network would be pretty cool. Um, I also want to try it with my wife, who's also an artist, and that would be just really fun. You know, she and I work really differently, so I'm not sure that that painting would probably be, you know, something we want to try to put in a gallery or anything, but it would be really fun to try, and I really want to try it with my kid, and I think it'd be very intriguing to see what the capacity is for it over, like, the broader internet for, like, students as far as, like, sharing resources and stuff. I'm sure it's probably pretty network intensive for something as, as crazy as all the calculations of an art app, but really cool option there as well. Um, again, I'm not going to review that yet because I haven't been able to test it. Um, there are also now the ability, it's similar to Photoshop, where you could record um, like a series of actions and then you can play that action back. So say, for example, you wanted to batch convert a bunch of photos or you wanted to apply a certain filter to a bunch of photos, you could record that as sort of like a, an action in Photoshop and then you can play it back over all of those photos or images or paintings so you can prep a bunch of work all at once without having to click through a bunch of menus for every single painting you're editing. So um, that now exists for ArtRage. One of the ways that I was playing around with it, and you'll see in this painting, is that um, I can record like a little action which will flip the canvas, transform the canvas for me, and I can assign that transformation to a key command. So like I record a, an action, assign it to the key command, and I can say like press, press, H or J or whatever I decide and it'll flip the canvas for me so that I can paint on the flipped canvas which helps me see my distorted perspective. Sometimes that just happens to me in digital way more than traditional so sometimes I'm just like working too close to the screen and my my like perspective is off like the vanishing points or whatever is kind of like ah that didn't work and I'll flip the canvas and it'll show me my the error of my ways and so I love that too so having that recording of, of actions is pretty cool. Um, as you see me painting, you know, the most important thing, though, is feel. And pa painting in art, which has always felt great, it always um, is something I come back to. I've done reviews of, of Rebel, and I paint in Photoshop all the time. I love, you know, heavy paint. Uh, there's all kinds of apps that I, I know and love. And Corel, you know, something I'll go back and dabble in here and there. Um, but I always come back to Art Rage for its oil painting and its brush engine for the oil painting is to me the best there is. And, you know, I sometimes we'll put up new stuff and check out new stuff and see what other apps are doing. And I always appreciate what everybody's up to and the hard work everybody puts into making all these great products that let us just be creative. I mean, how lucky are we, right? But um, I have my little times of being fascinated with what's out there. But I always come back to Art Rage because just look at this painting, guys, like this it's not about my talent or my ability or my whatever. It's just about the app. Like, look how cool the brushwork looks in here. 
and how fast it works and how like simple it is. I don't have to get into menus. I don't have to go digging around. It just is the brush engine is great. It is awesome. And what they're doing right now with all these updates and putting it on the new app stores and the desktops and giving you like all those incremental updates, of course, for free and just letting that happen automatically and making the bigger canvases and bigger brushes and all of that. What I really see is they're setting the stage for, for the next step, which is being able to update their brush engine. What if they start changing and editing what's possible with with watercolor? What if they start adding different features to the oil brushes? Now that it all works better, works faster, works at higher resolution, works with bigger brushes, I, I just feel like this platform update, this engineering update, this kind of under the hood, making things work better so that it can be a more kind of modern product, uh, I think that's what's happening here, and I think it's setting the stage for a lot of amazing things to come. So um, that's that's kind of my take on Art Rage Vitae, and and I think it's um, I don't you know if you're saying you know I I need to update because you know I want to I do want that kind of under the hood update. That's a great idea. If you are saying I want to update because I want to have a bunch of new brushes, well that that would not be what this update is about. Um, but in a way. It, it kind of is because the speed and performance kind of enhancements, the kind of reliability and, and kind of uh, efficiency that, that comes with this new update as allowing for what you see here, a painting where I'm using almost exclusively my own custom brushes. And I know it's partly that I'm learning how to make custom brushes better. And, you know, my hopefully that's making benefit to my, my Patreon subscribers. But like um, I, I also think that, that as they continue to update the software, things just seem to be working more efficiently and working more responsively. And that has an impact on the brushes that I make. And that's something I wanted to talk about too, real quickly, which is um, the difference between ArtRage Vitae on the desktop and ArtRage Vitae on like the mobile mobile app. So if you're buying it from Android or iOS, it's different than buying it from Windows or, Microsoft or, or, or Macintosh. So if you are Apple and Macintosh, the old old name. All right, so um, the desktop versus the mobile version. Oil painting is fantastic on both, but it it's that like custom brush designer, custom brush settings. That's the thing that's different for the desktop version. It's not even an option on the mobile version. That that brush is just absent of the tool set, but it is absolutely there and absolutely important for the desktop version. So I wanted you to know that that's a big thing too. Just anytime the app works better, it makes it better for the, de the desktop version. It makes it perform better. Then that makes my brushes work better, which makes me a happier painter because I use my brushes a lot um, for, for, you know, painting on the desktop. So that said, um, thank you guys for checking out this review. Uh, hopefully it's, it gives you a good insight on what this app is, what it does, how it sets the stage for the future, how it's different from the mobile version, even though they have the same name, um, and how you can get it from these new app stores or these like old app stores, but it's new for ArtRage, um, and, and what that means for you with updating and, and everything else. So that's ArtRage Vitae on desktop. I'm really excited that uh, I was able to share this with you today, and I hope you guys get a chance to share your thoughts with me if you're in line to get any updates for your desktop app, let me know how it goes for you. Um, I've uh, up to this point had no crashes. I painted four full paintings and a bunch of little sketches. So I wanted to kind of spend a lot of time with it before I dumped anything out here. Uh, thank you guys very, very much and um, best wishes. Thanks for spending some time checking out my channel. I hope you guys have a great day and keep swinging that brush. Take care.